don't blow yourself up. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. That is some of the best advice I can give about reloading. It doesn't matter if you're an experienced reloader or a newbie reloader, there's some things you absolutely must pay attention to so that you can keep your reloading equipment, yourself, and your guns safe. Namely, keeping an eye on your powder charge. You can use a powder checker die, a lockout die, or you can be super disciplined to take a visual powder check on each case that's charged before the bullet gets placed for seating. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a product from KMS Squared. It's their UFO lighting system. They make lighting systems for a bunch of reloading presses. They make a universal lighting system. This one happens to be for the Hornady Lock and Load AP Five Station Progressive Press. So we're gonna take a look at what's included in the kit and then we're gonna install it on the Hornady Lock and Load AP. Let's get started. So let's see what's in the package. Got the LED assembly and all of the installation accessories. We've got the AC adapter that goes into the wall. 12 volts, one amp. Kind of nice to have a 12 volt power supply. Leads to all sorts of options. Okay, so we've got that. And then we've got this nice switch here too, which I like because then you can leave it plugged in, turn it on and off, that kind of thing. Really nice. Okay, so all of the installation components in the LED strip itself is in this plastic bag. Let's get that all set out. So there's the light strip, 500 lumens. So that's quite a bit of light output. We've got some zip tie anchors, some zip ties themselves, abrasive and cleaning pad, and then a larger zip tie for the press itself. Awesome, let's get this installed. Okay, so after taking a moment to remove the powder measure and the dies from the press, we are ready to install the lighting kit. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is to prep the surface. And there are two components that are included with the kit, a little miniature section of Scotch-Brite pad to rough up the surface, and then an alcohol wipe to wipe off all of the debris from that operation. So we're just gonna start by roughing up the surface around the circumference of the center hole in the top of the press frame. This is where the circular portion of the light strip is going to stick. And then we're going to go, we're going to go down between stations number three and four, rough up the surface down there, and then down the front vertical riser on the press as well. Raise the ram. We're going to continue all the way down and then along the side of the press base where there's gonna be a couple blocks that a zip tie will secure the power cord around. Okay, then we're gonna take our alcohol pad, the wipe, and then use that to just quickly wipe down the surfaces that we just prepped. It's so gonna get it nice and clean. It's gonna dry quickly so that we can then adhere the light strip to the press and it will not come off, which is what we want. Okay, we're gonna take a moment for that to dry. Okay, now that things are dry, we're gonna remove the backing from the adhesive portions of the light strip. This keeps the adhesive fresh and ensures that it's gonna stick right. Now, we want to get the ring positioned here, the light ring, so that it's perfectly centered around the die station holes. And then we also want the strip itself to be centered between stations number three and four. So with a little bit of patience, some attention to detail, we'll stick that on really good. And then we're gonna take the strip and run it down the vertical member. Now I'm going to raise the ram very carefully so that I can get this centered well at the bottom. Helps to manipulate the cord just a little bit. I'm going to press it up into this crevice at the top really well and then go all the way down. Okay, just double check. We've got everything stuck really well. Okay, 
So now we can use our large zip tie that came in the kit. Unwrap this guy. It's got a little, little rubber band around it. And this is going to secure the cable at the bottom. Diagonal pliers are good for chopping these, but I don't have any with me at the press right here. So I'm just going to use a pair of scissors, which is fine. Okay. Now we've got the two mounting blocks for the small zip ties. They're going to help us run the power cable. Okay. So what we want is for the cable to come down. So I'm going to put one back here. And then we'll remove the film from the second. And then we're going to put that guy ahead just a little bit. So I'm going to put him right there. Push really well. Okay, now we're going to take our small zip ties. There's two of those. And run them through the block carefully. I'm going to start with this end one loosely. Okay, and then we'll run the inboard one. Okay, now we now we position the cable how we want it. I'm just going to double check here. As the ram comes down that we've got enough clearance. I believe I want it right there. So we'll cinch that down a bit. Cinch the other one down. Okay, we'll cut those as well. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna install the switch. Run that right in to the end of the power. We're going to take the AC adapter and plug it into the wall. I've got an outlet right here, which I planned. And then here it comes. Let's turn this baby on. Whoa! There she is. <laughs> that is really cool. I'm sorry if this is blinding you. That is a lot of light. 500 lumens is, is quite a bit. So let's take a quick look at the press doing some loading, we'll see how well we can see the powder and then uh, take things from there. So a little bit of a sneak peek, I've got some 22 Nosler content coming. I'm doing some loading for 22 Nosler and uh, thought that would be a great thing to show here because it's hard to see inside 22 caliber case necks. So let's see what that is gonna do for our powder checks. Wow, I can see in there really well. I can tell this is going to be a big benefit. And it's not just seeing the powder, it's seeing everything else too. It's seeing imperfections in the cases. It's seeing, you know, granules of powder that are stuck different places. It's more light is better. Let there be light. Well, the KMS squared light went on really quickly and I really like how it adds visibility to the reloading process. So if you want to shed some light, on your reloading, give KMS Squared products a try and stick around here on Ultimate Reloader because I'm gonna be working on some deals for you all. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you don't wanna miss any of the action on ultimatereloader.com, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy safe reloading and safe shooting.